Here's one example of a website that's intended to help students with their pronunciation. Students can type in a word or a phrase into the website, and the website will do a search throughout the internet to find video that shows an example of a speaker of English saying the word or phrase that the student wanted to hear. For example, when I typed in, how's it going? The website made a search and found an example of this video where we see a person speaking and it shows the segment where he actually pronounces the expression, how's it going? There are many such segments that the computer found. In fact, for this particular, how's it going, the computer found 258 examples. That's a lot of examples to look at if you want to refine your pronunciation of how's it going. I expect that you'll see during the course why people say that technology empowers English language learners. Technology empowers teachers with large selections of English language materials for you and your students. Technological resources allow you to find new ways to teach and learn English. Technology also provides access to what's happening in the English-speaking world and sources for spoken English language. It has also prompted collection of data and development of methods for finding how English grammar and vocabulary are used. It offers opportunities to participate in English language communication. I'm sure that during the course of the eight weeks, you're going to find lots of other ways that technology can empower you in the English language classroom. I hope that you will also see during the eight weeks of this course how technology empowers students. Technology empowers students with English language materials for them to choose from. It gives up-to-date information about what's happening in the English-speaking world, including popular culture, science, sports, and international politics. It gives opportunities to hear spoken English language and lots of examples showing how English grammar and vocabulary are used. It provides opportunities to participate in English language communication and lots of new ways to get help and learn English. Most teachers find that the biggest change that comes with the use of technology for English language learning is that the students become empowered to take on their own learning. They become interested they learned how to find things for themselves. They take an active part in learning. And this, of course, we know as teachers is the most important aspect of our teaching, to get students interested, motivated, and ready to learn on their own. We want students to be able to learn on their own, but they don't know how to do it. Teachers need to know the technologies and how to help students develop their agency as learners so that they can become lifelong language learners. In the final week of the course, we will focus on creating activities for your students, teaching others about technology for English language learning, and the next generation technologies. To take up these topics, we'll call on the perfect expert to help us. Professor Greg Kessler is a professor at Ohio University where he has been working in computer-assisted language learning, teacher education, and new technologies for many years. Hello, my name is Greg Kessler, and I'm a professor of computer-assisted language learning in the Department of Linguistics at Ohio University. I look forward to meeting all of you and working with you. We will ask Greg how he and the teachers he works with create activities for English language learners. We'll also ask what tips he can share about teaching others about using technology for English language learning. And then we'll ask him what he predicts will be the next generation technologies for English language learning. We are all looking forward to working with you throughout the following weeks in using educational technology in the English language classroom.